just gotta do some real quick setup here. I should, I really need to do a, uh, fucking starting soon thing. But, um, yeah, there's my dashboard for that. Really should have done this first, but I'm an idiot. You guys know that. This should come as a surprise to absolutely no one. Alright, that's it for that. Well, I guess now is a good time to get started on the game, huh? Alright, as you can see, we are all the way down in Jade Passage Basement 6. You can see we got some decent stack growth. About 600 HP on Leon. I'm not entirely 100% sure on the actual growth on the main trio. But, as you can see, I kind of took some crazy liberties with uh, boosting the power of Ultima. Which, I based it on how it much damage is Ultima doing compared to Maria's Fire 8. <clears throat> and on most targets, it's slightly above average. If it's a weakness being targeted, there's no contest. Maria wins. Because Ultima is non-elemental. Now, I did hit Cure 15 on the way down here from roughly where it's at now, at level 14. And the reason why he's back capped on MP is because I used an elixir. Here's what we're looking at for Maria. I used her Osmos to... Well, I guess I should explain. I, uh went to the Cyclone Room of the Arcane Labyrinth to get my hands on Osmos. So I used the one that it gave me, and then the game, after starving me for a while, finally gave me three, so I've got one that I'm not using. But I got it to level four for Maria, got it to level four for Guy, and I also used the Flare Tome to get to level six with that. Uh, his stats really don't matter as much, though it would have been a lot less work to give him Ultima, <laughs> given how much I did in the last eight hours worth of grinding, and then I just didn't do anything with Leon. However, unlike last time, I gave him the Mazaman, the Genji Gear, and the Edge Shield. And I gave him a Sword of Nine and a Shield of Eight, which is odd when you compare it to the rest of them. And as you can see, I was using Furion for magic purely during the grind. But I've got decent evasion. I think Leon started at a 3-3? So, I didn't get much on magic defense, but that's because I wasn't spreading teleport because I knew it was going to kill the shit out of Leon. Just because... His match defense is garbage, and I didn't feel like buffing him with wall. <laughs> but anyway, without further ado, let's get our asses moving. The Castle of Hell, Pandemonium. Oh, hey, Lamia Queen. Yeah, remember how she was a mid boss? Halfway through the fucking game? Now she's trash. Yeah. Trash mobs that were bosses. And hey, what do you know? That's Magic Defense 6. And nothing was done to him. Death Riders, as we remember from yesterday, no go. Fuck him. Fuck him. Ah. Yeah, that's about 33% damage. That is, uh, fuck you, no. Nope. Uh, Mantis Devil's kind of annoying, and... Right there, you're seeing the difference between the diamond armor he was wearing yesterday and the Genji gear that he is wearing now. He actually has some fucking staying power. And, yes, I know I gave him a shield instead of a second sword like I did to the two guys that died. But that's because, well, he's a permanent fixture. Shit. Um. Oh, that's 
stun didn't last long. And bye, Furion. I don't know why I'm surprised. But yeah, we're definitely seeing why I should have life on someone else. Do I have a life tone? Don't think I do. Fire, thunder, blizzard, scourge, rain. <laughs> Five fucking flare tomes! I didn't even know that! Jesus! Sleep, stun, stop, blind, curse, toad, break, death. Oh, we got death! Warp and berserk. Oh, or, oh the rune axe from Aura and carrot and barrier, blink, shell, wall, mini. And weapons. Fuck. And I am not in the business of running all the way back to Bosk for a spellbook that I should have gotten while I was grinding. In fact, I actually think I was thinking about it at the time, but I <laughs> didn't actually fucking act on it. I'm a retard. That should uh, get us decently able to go forward. Really got it. Really wish I could have done something about that magic defense. I wonder how much of that magic defense was raised because I was spread casting holy on the part of the level. Up. And we're talking like 30 casts per battle. Because it was already level 8. It was one to 30 to get it to level 9, and then it was another 30 in another battle. Another 30 to get it close to the cusp of 10. And then there was 10 more on another fight. To, get, uh, to actually hit 10. Then I used Osmos Juggling to make sure that I could just... Uh, you know, prolong the fight. Yes, I know I could have used Elixirs, but that's 50,000 to do what I could just end the fight, apply all my stat changes, and go to the inn or use a cottage. Uh, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I am in trouble. Um... Fuck. See you, Leon. This should work. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Fucking A. Oh, jeez. Hey, at least this time we didn't lose two and a half hours. We lost ten minutes. Five minutes. Because I spent a lot of time bullshit. <laughs> I think we might need to save scum through this. And I will unapologetically say, I'm gonna fucking do it. Oh, Furion's almost dead already. Furion is already almost fucking dead. Because of an ambush. Fuck you too, game. Seriously? Go blow it out your fucking ass. What? Oh boy. I don't have enough Phoenix Downs. I have to leave. I don't have a choice. 
I have three Phoenix Downs and one person in those fucking life. Tell you what, I will see how far I can get. Then if I wipe again, and it's because I run out of fucking Phoenix down. Let's see what Ultima does to these things. Because let's be real, this is more powerful than Holy. I just want to see. That was about 830 damage. How much does Holy 10 do? About the same. So imagine if I actually had everything at level 16. Like I should to get the most out of Ultimate. That would do... Just boatloads of rape levels of damage. <laughs> There's no other way to say it. <laughs> Charm 9 is gonna do jack shit to any of the main three. That's going to be cast across the party. So it's going to be effectively like half the level. Really? Leave the Lamia Queen. Really wish you could just shield bash counter. That'd be fucking hilarious. You know, actually give a weapon value to, you know, cutting your defense. Cutting your attack by like 20% to have the defense. And lovely, we got corals now. Blaster is basically break. But if you've played another Final Fantasy game, you already know that. So why I'm making a point to say it, I The Lamy is down. Wow, that killed the coral. Shit. Didn't expect Leon to actually do that. Oh, Blink 16. Blink 16 scary. But Blink 182 is somewhat decent music. <laughs> Laughing at my own joke. Fuck you. <laughs> I think my ultimate recourse is Ultima. For these fucking Lamias. If I don't out. Yup. She's almost dead for the most part anyway. But she's fucking with me. So she's gonna die in a nuclear explosion. And we're gonna be laughing all the way to the bank! <laughs> I gotta say, it's got, it feels good to be making progress after so much fucking grind that... Ooh, Ribbon! What's that do? In terms of defense. Ew. Um... I don't know if the defense drop is worth it, though. Pandemonium 4-2. We're saving. <laughs> no, we are not doing that shit again. Call me a pansy if you want, but, uh... 
That's cute. I don't think Fog's gonna do anything to anyone except for maybe Leon. I think my magic defense is high enough that I can resist this spell for the most part. And why does the Beast Demon, which is a palette swap monster, have less HP than the original? Probably because it's actually a spellcaster, despite its name. Uh... Wow, an ether. Okay, Mithril Golem, I'm gonna need to use electricity here. But let's use Ultima. And Leon's basically uh, Mr. Punching Bag. <laughs> Never mind. Really? I only got stamina up for that? That's shitty. Took 600 fucking damage. Oh. 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 Ouch. And well, I ought to put the Mithril Golem in kill range for Maria. Let's see what Ultima does to that one back. Yeah, as you see, 819 for a neutral hit versus damn near double for a weakness hit. Ouch. If I don't get an HP up from this, I'm gonna be mad. Granted, at this point, HP ups really don't matter. As a matter of fact, having a lower HP threshold is probably more beneficial. At least when it comes to the zombies. I mean, enemies that do raw damage... Eh. Well, I guess against the zombies, it's percentile damage any way you want to slice it. Why are you using the spell? I'm not buffing! Oh! That actually did hit him. You see, because there's a slight gray glow. No, there's not. Thunder 10, huh? Or 12. Basically 11 and perfect. Okay. This is where I start getting lost. Five didn't do anything. No, nope, now it did. Assuming that Blaster does hit Leon, Asuna should be powerful enough at level 10 to have the accuracy needed. Because basically, at level 5 is when it gains its last uh, status removal, which actually is petrification. And anything above and beyond is well, inflated cost and higher accuracy. Oh, that's not a guarded elixir? Damn. It's on the guy, it's not gonna do anything. Hmm. 
Another ribbon. Just a bunch of dead ends on the west side here. Um, really, I'm only hitting it under seven. I guess that's where I've had it for the entire fucking game. And it survived with like 40 fucking HP. Could you imagine if I was actually doing damage with Ultima? Where that 800 damage was what I was doing spread across an entire group of eight. Because I've seen it. As a matter of fact, I wish if I didn't have that corrupted save file, that data has a file where I have period 16 on everything. And oh my god! He does so much fucking damage. It's hysterical. Actually, you know what? Let's see. Let's spread Ultima. And then do my thunders. Well, fuck you too, Mithril Golem. Fucking prick. That's where having my, you know, 6,000 HP is fucking beneficial. How did that not kill? Kinda wish it was a cover mechanic. That'll do. All of that just to bring his stupid ass back to life. How's the rest of the team doing? And yes, I'm purposely using Furion's more expensive Cure 15 because frankly, if I can get that 16, that's just a little bit more power for Ultima. Frankly, if I go to do the Arcane Labyrinth, because there is a super boss, with an ultimately completely worthless prize, the destroy spell. Whoopty fucking shit. Now, you might be asking, what's the destroy spell? Deals 10,000 damage to everything. Sets the caster's MP to zero. Actually, sets everyone's MP to zero. Sets the caster to one, killing the rest of the party. Basically, if you were to use it in Pandemonium and not kill everything, that's game over. Because the enemy is going to be like, ha ha, bam! Slap you down with the little fly you are, because that's all that's going to be left of you. You will be a fucking grease stain of your own doing. Your own undoing at that. And it doesn't matter what level fucking destruct, destroy is. It's not like using teleport to get out of a dungeon will reduce you by less HP. Like, I think by level 10, you're uh, reducing your current HP by less than half. Like, if I were to use teleport now to go back to Missidia. 
Uh, Furion would have about 2700 HP, I believe. Like, I was actually even considering using that to just pump Kira. And realized, eh, probably shouldn't. Uh. No. Well. This is where it starts getting confusing, and I realize I've gone a couple floors without saving. And I don't remember the dungeon from this point, so... I mean, it's completely solvable. It's just, um... At this point, it's... Basically remembering where the path is. Because at a certain point, it's actually going to reset you. Um... Actually, I think this might be the path forward. No, it's just the path to that treasure chest. Lovely. Poison touch. Which I think I still have antidote, so I'm not going to waste the Asuna. Granted, yeah, I am carrying... 13 elixirs? I think this is a super boss chest. Oh, yeah, a Genji Helm. Yeah, there is a full set of Genji... Oh, it's Team Matt. This could potentially be bad. I forget what her weakness is. But it's not going to matter... ...if I'm just going to Osmos all the fucking MP away. I actually think that's how I'm going to do this. I should probably establish Blink and Protect at some point along this. At least on Leon. Yeah, because 500 damage is inconsequential. Oh! Wow, I stole over MP. Shit. So, yeah, that was a waste of 10 MP. Fuck. Uh, let's go ahead and cast Ultima, and let's try the elements. I think she might resist everything. Oh! She absorbed that! Yeah, I think she absorbs element magic. So I think Flare from Guy might be my best bet. With Ultima from Furion. Physical attack, I guess. That's all it can really do. Man has like 4,000 HP. So really tearing through her with um, Ultima is actually doing pretty decent damage. Great. <laughs> I asked for a life tome. I got it. <laughs> oh, that's great. Fucking fantastic. So as long as Guy and Furion survive, I don't need a Phoenix. I 
think I've got to pass through a wall to get through here. Warp shouldn't do anything. Oh, that was a single target. I'm like, wait, what? But yeah, if it's focused on Maria, yeah, it's not gonna, not gonna do jack shit. Because she has more, basically, foolproof checks than there were levels to that spell, so... <sighs> Given how much MP a lot of these enemies have... I should actually probably be trying to steal their mana. Yeah, that way I can, uh, sustain... Uh, spell cast a little bit more without needing to use my elixirs. There's that devil wolf dead, so I'm probably gonna get maybe 200. Ooh, not even, but hey, it's 140. That's like nine casts of cure 15, so I shouldn't bitch too loud. Okay, can I? Oh. Wait, what? Can I get my Osmos 10 off before they kill her? Yes, I can. And I think I still all over MP. So no matter what she tried to do, she wasn't gonna get away. She wasn't getting away with it. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a door to go back. Okay, yeah, now I remember the, uh, the deal with this, uh, dungeon. It's, um, two of these doors go to floor five, the other two go to floor six. One of them is just another boss with a Genji item. And I actually think Mazaman is part of it. So really, I would have eventually ended up with Maria, with Leon having a set of gear. It's just, uh... <laughs> I would have been halfway through the fucking dungeon where it no longer really mattered. Is that Maria to 12? Yeah, indeed it is. Which means Fearing and Guy are not far behind. Oh, if you spread cast blasters, then yeah, it's probably gonna happen. Although, I suppose if I get another Mazaman, I could bump someone up to dual wielding, so. Oh, fuck. Thought I was free of this shit. Oh, there's Guy dead. And Leon, too. Fucking A. Is this game? I do believe this is game. Son of a bitch. Yeah. I, ju I just don't do enough fucking damage. God damn it.
Oh, back on floor two. Oh, hey, what do you know? Back for round two. The exact same fucking party as I left them. Fucking A. Of course, that means that... Oh, uh, I should have saved after killing Tiamat. Because it's not a guaranteed drop of the tome. Son of a bitch. Fuck you too, game. Should have told him to defend. I would have cut the damage in half. Fucking A. Pretty well healthy. Let's get that elixir. <laughs> I'm a death rider. <laughs> if this is fair. I tell him to defend and no one attacks him. Because all three dick weasel enemies attacked everyone else. And that defend probably saved his life. Really? Guy's stamina went up. Hits. Love you. I forget which one I attacked. With who? I actually think I might have spread it out right. Yeah, because that means Maria's hitting the one that's in the back. And that's gonna kill it. Just because she does like 1600 damage to him. Fucking crazy. Now do you see why I say I wanted to s fucking save scum through this shit? Probably Osmos my MP back up. And I lost those magic defense boosts, so great. Oh! Blaster's only stunned? I thought it was per I thought it was a uh, fucking petrification. Unguarded elixir was here.
And Furion is probably not going to go first of the three Osmoses. Oh, he did. I'm actually kind of surprised by that. Is there any... Oh, yeah, there is. Damn. How much MP does that bitch have? Probably none now. <laughs> At least not enough to cast another spell. Which, hey, I'm not complaining. I did what I set up doing that fight. That was get my mana back. He just hit me with a Boeing. 747. Well, fuck you too, buddy. Yep, that's it. This fight's over. Imagine this. We're actually to the point in the game where our magic is fucking important again. Because it's funny, because most of the magic that I have on Maria and Guy has been the same level since I basically learned the fucking shit. Because it hit, it hit the plateau of where it just couldn't grow anymore without spamming it in a fight. And now it's getting to the point where it can grow again. Because the enemies are high enough rank, it matters. go to the uh, second half, the right side of 4 or 5, again like I did last time. Yeah, I think I was heading there. Yeah, that was. Ultima's probably only going to do about 150 to 250 per target. Lovely, my one melee attack that was going out this turn isn't. About 100. So actually, I'm going to set that as my base. Oh, wow! Did way more than I was expecting. I think it's because those enemies resist lightning. They've got, like, 1,200 HP. No, I've been killing them with 1,100 attacks, so... Yeah, if I'd have just used my fucking physical attacks, this fight would be over already. So it was as novel as the concept is. Spread casting kind of sucks at this point in the game. 
I mean, that might finish the job. Yeah. Killed the cats. So yeah, my general idea is probably gonna come in here, top my HP off, kind of wastefully, but whatever. Go for a double Osmos. Go for a Flare. I don't think she has any mana left to use, so... Oh, shit. Let's see if the spread cast on single target holds true. He did, what, about 400 damage last time? Yeah, spread casting doesn't change anything. It gives a flashier animation, but that's the best it does. Those are far more potent in combat. Oh, hey, I did get the life tome. I really don't think it's a guaranteed drop, though, so... I still want to give it to Guy. Roaming bosses. Didn't actually expect to run into him. But he's just like a mithril golem, but with boss status. Weak to lightning. Has about 5,000 HP, if I remember correctly. And he hits like a goddamn truck. Yeah, there's weakness damage in, in play there. Less HP than I thought. Probably about 4,000. Oh, hey, there's the Edge's Shield! Ha <laughs> Well, there you go. Uh, let's take a look at him. Iron Giant. Oh! Shit, seeing that on his drop table reminds me I could have gone back to Dace and gotten the Excalibur. Weakness to lightning and ice. Oh, Red Dragon. We fought him on the, uh... Let's see. Weakness to body. Resistance to mind. I don't remember what classifies his body and mind. Yeah, this a single one of these dickheads aren't gonna kill me. It just isn't possible. <laughs> Lovely. Guy had almost full HP.
Well, there we go. Cure 16. So let's start using guys. That should do for now. Because while the 16th level will get... will turn red, it means nothing. There is no 17th level. But with that level 16, Ultima should be doing just a little bit more damage. Dead end. Lots of them. Oh, hey! It's another one of these fuckers! Oh! Help him. Fuck. Lovely. I didn't want him to go first. But lo and fucking behold. Alright, let's go for... A level 15 layer blank. Actually, I don't think it matters now. Because I think that's battle. Yep. Let's see, do I get anything? No, I don't. Sure do love taking 4,000 damage in one fucking turn. It's great, you should try it sometime. Which boss this one is? Genji Gloves. I think it's Beelzebub. Nope, Zombie Morgan. A joke. Because we get to see this same exact enemy. Oh, Flare 16. Yeah, we see this exact same enemy in Solar Rebirth. In fact, he's actually tormenting Joseph. Hey, Ultima 8. was a wall I could have just walked through.
kind of hard to fight with. Oh, he's still an MP. Though I did steal more from the top one with fearing the difference of six levels for Osmos. Oh, hey, there's the Mazaman. Haha. <laughs> And imagine my surprise finding the boss of Leviathan in triplicate. How's it going, Torch? This dungeon has been hell, and I even did grinding. Shame I- Oh, fuck you! Come on! Ice Gigas. <laughs> you ran away from me! <laughs> That's great! <laughs> oh, I love it. That's fantastic. <laughs> I was just gonna unload my fucking magic on him. Because it would have done a shitload more damage. Though we've already proven we can kill one in one fucking turn. <laughs> oh, that's great. No, I don't want to run. I wonder if it's possible to be scary enough to fucking make one of the Gigas in Mesidian Tower as the boss fight run away. You know, kind of like you can make Chaos run away apparently during uh, the final boss of Final Fantasy 1. Frankly, who is the most skilled with a sword? Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna give it to Leon. Fuck it. He doesn't have any magic. So let's just make him imposing fucking physical force. And I probably should have saved him. Cause guy's dead. <clears throat> Leon's dead. Fuck. That's game. I can't do anything. The fucker heals for more than I can fucking deal. Two Death Riders is a death sentence in this dungeon. Especially on a fucking ambush. Everyone was healthy. Oh boy. Stun strike. Piece of shit.
And I just want to make it abundantly clear that when playing this on the original hardware, you don't have the luxury of saving everywhere. Which means if, if at any point you die during this dungeon, it's all the way back to no, no later than one panel outside of the Jade Passage. How's it going, Squid? Sorry, I'm kind of... Kind of in this game is pissing me off mode. <laughs> As you can see, we're an hour into the session. And... It has been nothing but pandemonium. We have wiped no fewer than four times. And every single time... It has been to an ambush with a mithril golem and two fucking oh four of them three I can count but they're probably not gonna run away because there's strength in numbers but like I was saying two death riders and a mithril golem every time I see that it's an ambush kills me every fucking time Am I bitter? Nah, what would you what would make you think that? Hey, Sarantine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no fucking joke, buddy. Although I have found two iron giants and one of them dropped an edge shield. But the Mazamun is hidden, so it doesn't have a boss protecting it. So let's go ahead and give that to Leon again. Give him something that sets him apart from the rest of the party. And that being physical might. We do still have the cure 16, so... Wait, did the ones in Mysidian Tower have Wizard 16? Or are these a different actual enemy? Probably ones that actually have the flag. These ones are different because they have a flag that allows them to run away. And it took all three of them. Oh, jeez, it's going to take two turns. Because I guess there's just that much difference between Ice Gigas and, uh, fucking Fire Gigas. And I will be saving again. Because fuck this dungeon. Magic defense is way too fucking low. And I just outfitted him with two swords. It's a good thing he hadn't gotten the chance to act. Because I would have been in trouble. Death Strike. Excuse me. And I'm willing to bet if he still had his edge of shield, he would have blocked that. So maybe giving him both of the Mazamans is a not a good idea. Uh, 
trouble with only the front row ones being able to physically attack me. I should be fine now. Fitting. Bitch says magic defense isn't high enough. Still has a long way to go, though. I shouldn't need to save. You just go ahead and attack the, the top three with your magic all you fucking want. Doesn't bother me at all. That is floor five completed. I think the path forward is actually in the third door, so. Close Twitter. Fuck you. Firefox changed tabs behind my fucking chatbot window. Said, oh, non-responsive script. What do you want to do? Okay. Just deal with it. <clears throat> I should be able to steal mana from, from them both. Unless Furion goes first, in which case he's probably going to sap them all. Okay, good. That should give me... Oh, wow, yeah. If they have any magic left, they don't anymore. Oh. Maybe they do. They do! Look. These fuckers have. Probably two hundred, maybe three hundred. has to gain a magic defense level. I like how my window color is thematic with the dungeon. Though I suppose the default blue would be as well, but... I like the wall color. made back the money that I spent on the fucking elixirs. Yes, uh, I forget. I don't think he has any magic. I don't know if he absorbs any. So far, Ultima's doing the most damage. Oh! Absorbs fire. Oh boy. Probably weak to ice, then. 
But I'm gonna still test poison. Probably absorbs poison if he's got poison strike. He might not even survive this turn. Yep. Uh, that's a low level poison sp Uh, poison did more damage. So I'm gonna guess he's probably got a weakness to it. Though I don't know if he's gonna survive this third ultimate. He did! Damn. Trail Fang, really? What is the deal with Beelzebub? Hey. Okay. Oh. Okay. Trail Fang and the Gaia Drum were the two spells he could have used. So, Fear and Quake. Quake is not a spell that I have access to, which is bullshit. Well, I do have access to it in the form of the Gaia Drum. Do I need to go around to the other door? I think I do. And I didn't check how much MP the Devil Wolves had. Probably enough to, uh... top off three mages. Well, I can guarantee I can get it. If I, um... focus target. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of MP off of them. And it doesn't show signs of stopping, really. I know it's finite. Osmos 6? Osmos 5. I proved it was a waste of time to try to magic these fuckers down with physical attack like I've got, so... Might take two attacks to kill the Lamy Queen, though. Oh! There's the two attacks there. How about that? Oh, protectoring. 
Actually, I think that might help him more than... Ooh. Because if I give him a Protect Ring, a Ribbon... Oh, yeah, you're good. Fuck it, let's leave him on the Genji. God damn. There's one more. <clears throat> uh, protect the chest. I think it's the Genji armor. No. Have I got them all? It's gotta be the edge of shield that I'm missing. Because you are guaranteed one edge of shield. If you wanted to get the Genji gear like I've got without using the Toad minigame, you would have to go through grinding the Iron Giant, which is incredibly difficult to do because it's actually a pretty rare enemy. Kill him, I'll make the bombs explode at least. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna kill him. I'll definitely kill the Gigas. Leon will make sure of that. Actually, I think that's GG. Nope, it's not. But yeah, now we're seeing Ultima shaping up into something scary. Did about four to six hundred damage on the bombs. Holy shit. Granted, they're low-ranking enemies, so... Eh. Take that for what it is. Again? Didn't you guys learn your lesson the last time? Take a closer look at what Ultima's doing here. Okay, two to four hundred. But still, that's nothing to sneeze at. Kill anything. That's disappointing. But now they're gonna go what the fuck boom on me, so. Oh, they did. Why did that front bottom one not go what the fuck boom? Must not have done enough damage to it. I mean, I did hit it three times, which is the trope of bombs, so. Gross. Good thing I saved. Oh, oh, definitely going to use magic here. know what to use. It's not 
lightning. Not fire. Ice. Poison. Oh, she's killing Leon with poison. It did slightly more damage. Is the moral of the story here that I have to use ribbons to protect myself from blood strike? Can't find out. It won't let me. Yes, keep casting magic. I don't even care. Holy shit! That fight sucked! Seven thousand HP. Oh. So if my Scourge spells were actually higher level, they'd have done significantly more damage. That's what that's telling me. And I don't want to fight that battle again. No, thank you. It's fucking crazy. Top my MP back off. He's the one that's important for. Is there any MP left to go around? Maybe not. Ha! <laughs> nope! Well, now I don't have anything to worry about. No tough destructs if they don't have any magic to use it with. They're definitively zeroed out. And they use self-destruct seven. Just because. Hmm. This I guess are a little bulkier than I thought they'd be. Well, I guess my sword proficiencies haven't changed much since Missidian Tower. I think maybe one level for each character. And I'm, of course, doing a parallel of Leon to Picard. Still not risking it. Because I could see this fight coming. 
I'm prepared to lose at least one person. And that one person's fucking Furion. Oh, good. 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 They did a smart. Wow, that healed way more than I thought it would. Shit. Well, Furion's definitely getting an HP up. Another fucking ribbon. Yeah. Those are supposed to be rare. Go figure, I'm prepared, so I'm not getting my ass handed to me. Probably should have bossed most with Guy. Too late now. Oh, and he would have acted first. Actually, no, because he was casting a spell he probably wouldn't have. Sage's Wisdom that does us no good. Okay. Oops. This is probably only going to get me about 100 MP back. I don't think I thought that through very well, did I? I'm gonna do it again. Because he still have MP. And of course he didn't get to act. He's fuck me, right? Hey, Fearing's magic defense is 12 now. Yes, I can. How about that? The HP is still looking kind of good. The guy's only missing like 600. That's the most I'm missing. Just got to thinking. If in the off chance that Fog hits Furion, I might be screwed. He's the only one with Asuna. And I don't have very many mallets. Though at 1299, I really doubt that's gonna happen. Just call it a hunch.
We're at this point in the game and everything is still ambushing us. You know, you'd think it'd be an even spread of ambushes to preemptive strikes, but at a lower ratio than normal fucking battles. The agility on this team can't be that bad. I mean, I know the agility crystal from Mycidian Tower went to Picard, but that's because his base agility is so much higher than everyone else's. It was a no contest. There we go. Target, so it should do more damage to the blizzard now. Yeah, no, that's not how it happened. Or am I misattributing a weakness here? I didn't mean to tell him to run. But I don't think he's fast enough to try to escape. Yeah, he's not left. Misattributing a weakness. The weak to fire. Why the hell? That's gonna heal the Gigas. Though by not nearly enough to matter. Because dead. I should do about 2,000 damage. Close enough. Guys, fire's now level 8 now, isn't it? Yep. And I can't remember where I'm going. when you're so close to the final boss but can't remember exactly where you have to go. However, not that it matters because, uh, well, it does matter because we can apply it to Solar Rebirth. Yes, they do. They've actually been dropping like candy. And I actually think they drop from the Death Knight, the Death Riders, ironically enough. There we go. Right, let's heal up. anything.
I'm wasting a turn. I was actually kind of hoping to uh, top off Guy's MP, but I really don't think we're going to need it, because, uh... Well... I don't remember if it's a railroad into the final boss, or... Okay. I can freely in interact with him. Don't really need this save, but whatever. You've braved the bowels of hell to reach me. But hand of... <clears throat> but the hand of man which deals in false justice and forsaken love can never hope to defeat the Lord of Master of Hell. Might be further ahead with magic here. Well, better idea. Blink. Okay, so let's go back to Ultima. And that didn't help me. seem to help. Uh, let's go for Berserk. Osmos game was a bad idea. And he's basically getting all of his fucking M HP back. That's with a Berserk. Um, let's go for a Haste.
Whoever he hits next, yep, whoever he hits is dead. Nope, that doesn't help either. <sighs> Furion's dead. Yep, we lose. What have we learned? Do not deplete his MP. Oh, looks like the boss has learned as well. Shit. And how did Leon die? I wasn't looking. <sighs> oh yeah, this is a boss that doesn't fuck around. Uh, that shouldn't do anything. up on him. Fuck you! Jesus Christ, leave him alone! Fuck me! At least I'm getting my Berserk back up on him. Let's get a haste. Leave him the fuck alone! Fucking A, dickhead! I've done no damage to him so far. That's not enough to make a difference. That's gonna... That's 
a death sentence. Lovely. Aura does nothing. Joke that I should be using using Ultima. Oh, there's his ultimate attack. Which luckily doesn't do a whole hell of a lot of damage. There goes two turns worth of fucking damage undone. I do have haste on Leon. Haste and Berserk. Maybe another layer of Berserk might help. Starfall all he wants. It only does about 200 across the fucking party. Oh, hey, she's still dead if he hits her. Or is Aura actually doing something for him? For Maria, at least, I should say. Oh, he's dead. Mm, that's not doing much. Link really doesn't feel like he's doing much, but it might. Hey, this game. Holy shit. Unbelievable! Defeated by insects like you. Not once, but twice! Who are you? Roar! It's done. Now let's get out of here. It was a long struggle. With the Emperor gone, with nothing left to fear. Thank you. With all of my heart, I thank you. With the combined strength of Kashwan and Finn, we'll, we'll build the kingdom anew. 
Together, princess, we will create a kingdom even fairer than the old. Though once a coward, I now stand here a new man. I have all of you to thank for that, and you have my deepest gratitude. I'm sure Scott is smiling down on me from above. Look at you. Do you realize what you've done? How are we supposed to steal from the Emperor with them gone? You put me out of a job! I guess I'll have to start stealing from you. Better watch your backs. You sure showed them for you, Ian. They're every bit of bit look I pegged you for. If you ever feel like trying your hand apart, then... What? Then I'll sit well with you, Maria. <laughs> we'll see if next battle's out of your own theory. <laughs> you did it. I'm sure my dad's happy for you too up there in the clouds. I'm going to be working here serving the princess. I just want to do whatever I can to help out. Joseph. We must now dedicate ourselves to the task of restoring that what was lost. Farewell. Words cannot express my gratitude to you all. War finally over. Yes. We live together in peace again. Hmm. Right, Leon? For us, there can be no going back. But why? Don't go, Fury, and stop him! Maria, Leon's right. We've been through too much. I can't stop him now. Leon, we will meet again. Well, we should be going too. This is only the beginning. Their long struggle was finally at an end. The Emperor, Pandemonium, the monsters plaguing the world. All had vanished. Peace had returned once more. The wounds of the war would mend. And the memory of those bitter days would fade. But one thing would never be forgotten. That a band of young heroes once saved the world. Final Fantasy II. As much as I like this game, I can't help but want to reassess my love for it after what Pandemonium put us through tonight. Actually, what it put us through last night as well. Fucking two hours to get to the Emperor and kill him. And it took three tries to kill the fucking Emperor. Why? Because he has the mechanic that is the plague of your existence. Fucking Bloodstrike. Which... Not only undoes the damage you dealt... But it also hits you harder... For having more HP. Luckily... We were able to, you know, allow him to get his fucking spells, which was a bad idea to Osmos off all of his MP. Do not do that if you're going to play this game. And you saw why. Um, 
giving buffs to everyone like I did is a good idea. Having them on more than just one character is an even better idea. Although, if I've got to say one thing, Aura is a useless black magic spell. Do not invest any time in it. But because I've already done that, well, oops. Uh, the, I think all of the remakes did. Oh, yeah. I am not looking forward to that. Uh, 3 will be the next one I do of the Final Fantasy series. And it is one that I am not as familiar with, so there's chances that the stuff I miss in that game won't be out of, fuck it, I don't need it. It'll be, I don't know how to get it. And I do know that you need the ninja and the sage in 3, which is running through an entirely different dungeon going the opposite direction of the Cloud of Darkness. And the only reason why I know so much about the ending of Final Fantasy 3 is because it was the 24-man raid circuit in Final Fantasy 14 back in the Realm of Born. And, yeah. <laughs> At least, I will say this, with you playing the Final Fantasy 3 on NES, you at least still had save states. Because I think even NES flashcards have a save state feature, don't they? And if not, you know, all emulators do. So. Yeah. And to think, I have had this game on the docket to stream to actually just do a Let's Play for since I began Let's Playing back in 2008. So yeah, <laughs> nearly 10 years later, I finally got to it. Just look. I'm just thinking, letting that sink in. I was 19 when I started my career as a Let's Player. <laughs> it was Thanksgiving week in 2008. A little bit of a history lesson for uh, new followers. And, well, looking at my uh, progress now, about 325 subs on YouTube, I think, last time I checked, and about 154 followers here on Twitch. Uh, yeah, I'm either not very popular or just because of the circumstances in my life which stopped, prevented me from doing this regularly has really played a toll on me. But that sa said, I'm still going to go for it. Yes, the Souls of Rebirth is in this. I kind of really went off on a tangent there. But yeah, I will be doing that the next session. Though I'm going to... <laughs> pretty much expect it to last this long, if not longer. So, yeah. On Saturday. Strap in. Although I think I might... I'm tossing it around. I might do another grind the rest of the way to 16 everything for Furion. Spread out some buff spells throughout the rest of the party. Get them all to level 16 as well. Weapon skills don't really matter as much. And then do a no random encounters cheat to delve into the arcane labyrinth and fight the super boss. I'm not making any promises. And I can almost guarantee it's going to be obnoxious. But at any rate... Actually, I think it doesn't really matter. Because... Yeah. 
Let's just uh, save over file one. And then file two will be Solar Rebirth when that happens. And I can't believe Guy was dead at the end of that. He's typically the tank of the group. And we almost have two million go. Holy shit. But, at any rate, let's take a peek at who I'm following. And it looks like the only one that's alive is, uh, Psych. And shit, I started my stream like 20 minutes after he did. But, uh, yeah, at any rate, I think I'm going to send you over to Psychedelic Eyeball. And at any rate, I think that'll do it for me this weekend. So, I will catch you guys probably on Saturday. So, have a good night, guys. Trail signing out.